now um, with some store cupboard cooking. I've had a little raid of my store cupboard and seen some tins I've got and thought, yep, definitely it's a veggie chili. So, veggie chili time. A little bit of carrot is going to go to this. So I've just chopped some carrot there. I've got these peppers here. I've got some garlic. I'm just literally removing the seeds. There aren't many seeds in these. What I've got here are the um, Romano uh, mixed peppers, which are, are very sweet. I've got some chopped chili there. I've got some garlic here, um, which you just smash and peel and then chop up. So it, it really doesn't matter how you chop your onions, just get them chopped and if they're messy it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, all of this is just about getting flavour and texture into the pan. So I say first up, um, I'm going to literally fry the onion and the chilli. Give that a little whirl. And then next up, you can add in the peppers. In they go. And the, I put carrots into this one. I am going to sprinkle a little pinch of cayenne pepper. I'm going to give it a shake. There you go. So that's cayenne. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Then I'm giving it some cinnamon. So that's going on top. Okay, that's another little quarter. And just get those going around there. So yeah, it's just bringing out all the flavors. A couple of tins of chopped tomatoes bent into that. And just give that a stir. And then from your store cupboard, literally juice and all, um, the cannellini beans, they can go in there like that. I'll have two tins of those. Just give it all a really good stir. And then a can of chickpeas can go into that. I'll pop the whole lot in. Give it a stir. I'm transferring mine now into this lovely um, earthenware pot. I'm going to pop it um, into this so that I can heat it up later in my agar for the kids' supper. So essentially what I've made here is a vegan um, chili and um, you can top it off with uh, a myriad of different things. I'm going to go for sheep's yogurt and um, a little sprinkle of cheese. Some leaves on top. So this tastes absolutely delicious. It's very satisfying to make something from your store cupboard and a little bit of your fridge.